Hi, this is Pedro from OpenBOM. Today we're going to see how to create uh, SOLIDWORKS configurations and create different bill of materials with different part numbers uh, for different model sizes, different products. So let's get started. So uh, let's first dive into our example in our data set today. So the goal is to have two tables with different sizes, a two meters table and a 1.5 meters table. Uh, if we look into uh, the data set, I'm using also uh, an Excel uh, to have the different uh, different sizes. Uh, SOLIDWORKS design table. So we have different descriptions, different part numbers over there. And also I'm gonna show you the configuration of file properties. So we have uh, custom properties to look at the configuration properties. So this is a best practice of so making sure that you don't miss anything. If you see C config, on your bombs and something is wrong and the information is on the configuration specific properties so once you have uh, done that um, in this case i also have a top drawing with the different sizes so this is the size of um, with the drawing with uh, just a dimension and uh, you know showing the different part numbers for different different documents for different the different sizes and um, let's uh, generate the two different uh, build materials and uh, see the results. So uh, 1.5 meters, let's generate it. And uh, we can see the result with uh, the different sizes. Let's open that in OpenBOM and see the result. So we have uh, different part numbers for the wood table cover. So that's the 1.5 meters, the description is correct also a total length of material for the uh, weldman uh, table and then uh, let's do the same for the other size and generate for the other size in solidworks so let's see that how oh, that's processed so let's change to two meters and generate this one and as you can see you can have uh, you know full complete separate bombs out of uh, with different part numbers, different top item, and the different um, components with different sizes, uh, just on a completely independent box. So different material, different descriptions, and a different part number for the different sizes. And it's very easy to then maintain this uh, as two completely separate um, products. So if you look at the top items, you have those two products uh, separated there. So that one and that one separated. There. So um, just a few uh, recommendations to the best practices. Uh, so, so avoid uh, renaming some of these configurations. Configurations are quite fragile when you do rename them, so they don't update uh, references. Uh, and again, uh, you know, take a special care on um, maintaining properties at configuration specific data. And um, that's all you need. So thanks. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.